Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen, 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 hallelujah. Glory, glory be to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah to the Most High God. I bless the name of the Lord for another glorious day this morning. And I welcome you to Morning Dew Prayers for the week 11. Amen. Today is Sunday, the 13th of March, 2022. And let me start by saying a very huge thank you and a massive God bless you for all those who shared in our joy in our wedding anniversary yesterday. God will cause you to be celebrated and you to be honored in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, I invite you to join us as we pray so that your expectations will not be cut off in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Quickly this morning, I take my Bible reading from Genesis 13. I'm going to read from verse 5 to 9. Genesis chapter 13, verses 5 to 9. Lot also who went with Abraham had flocks and heads and tents. Now the land was not able to support them that they might dwell together for their possessions were so great that they could not dwell together. And there was strife between the headsmen of Abram's livestock and the headsmen of Lot's livestock. The Canaanites and the Perizzites then dwelt in the land. Verse 8. So Abram said to Lot, Please let there be no strife between you and me and between my headsmen and your headsmen, for we are brethren, for we are brethren. It's not the whole land before you. Please separate from me. If you will take the left, then I will go to the right. Or if you will go to the right, then I will go to the left. May the Lord bless his words in our hearts even this morning in the name of Jesus. This is the story of how Abraham left his father's house as commanded by God and he took Lot along with him. Sooner than later, there were disagreements and quarrels bordering on who gets the best of the available space that they found themselves. So there was quarrels. You know, their workers, their headsmen, their employees, they were fighting each other, amen, for who will take what, who will be here. The space was not enough for them. And Abraham had to make peace, amen. He rose up to the challenge before him and he made peace and turned out to be greater good and glory for himself. He told Lot that, look, the land is big. If you will choose the right, then I will take the other on the left. If you take the left, I will take the other on the right. He gave Lot the opportunity to choose before him. And Lot, looking at the land, amen, that was towards Sodom, it looked very choicy. It looked beautiful. It was filled with water for his heads. It was green. There was enough pasture for the cattle and humanly, with the eyes of human understanding, he chose the land that was towards Sodom. And Abraham took what was left, the land that was towards Canaan. Now, all of us know that Sodom became a land filled with sin, filled with all manners of evil that God had to destroy it. And that was the land that Lord chose for himself. He became so rich, he became so wealthy, he was so great, but everything ended up in destruction. While Abraham chose the land of Canaan that all of a sudden turned out to be the promised land flowing with milk and honey. What a story. What a story. Sodom was destroyed. Amen. And Lord had all his possessions therein and it was destroyed along. While Canaan became the promised land and Abraham had all his things, his inheritance and everything. And today, Abraham's blessings are ours. This is going to form our prayers this morning. Many of you have encountered problems in life on account of trying to help someone. Problems due to relationships that you try to foster. Problems because you included someone in the scheme of events that you thought was a good idea. Problems because you added extra to what God had told you to do. And as we pray this morning, 
every problem of your life shall part ways from you even right now this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. So this morning, I invite you to join us as we pray. Guard your loins, be ready to pray because it is for your own liberation. And I pray that as you pray with us this morning, all your expectations shall not be cut off and everything concerning you will add up for good and for your glory in the name of Jesus. So let us start by thanking God for another glorious day. We slept last night and here we are awakening in, in a new day. Amen. Some of us in our locations, we are still sleeping, but God is watching over us. So let us thank him for that opportunity to be in his presence. Let's thank him for life. Let's thank him for sustaining us. Thank him for his provisions. Thank him for his protections. Thank him for all that he has done for you. The things that only God can do. The things that even men did for you because it is God that caused all things to work in your favor. Father, this morning we come before you humbly, Lord God, acknowledging your power, your grace, your mercy, your love, your faithfulness. And we come to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for all that you do for us. Thank you, O oh Lord, for another opportunity to be in your presence. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you are about to do. And thank you for the things that you have planned to do in our lives, in our destinies, in our family, in our business, in our endeavors. All that concerns us. Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Please accept our thanks. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Quickly, we go into prayers. Our number two prayer, you're going to pray for yourself this morning. I'm going to lead you, but I want you to open your mouth and pray for yourself. You say, Father, according to the multitude of your tender mercies, please separate me from every trouble and problems from all those I have helped and have turned against me in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, according to the multitude of your tender mercies, please separate me from every trouble and problems from all those who I have helped in time past and have turned against me in the mighty name of Jesus. Make that your prayer very quickly this morning. Lord God, all those who have helped, all those that have aided, all those that have assisted, that have turned around to become troublers of our destiny, troublers of our families. Please separate us from all such troubles in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say, Father, according to Isaiah 41 and verse 11, according to Isaiah 41 and verse 11, let all those who are incensed against me be ashamed and disgraced for my sake in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, according to Isaiah 41 and verse 11, let all those who are incensed against me, let them be put to shame, let them be disgraced for my sake in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. You say, Father, please expose and disgrace every enemy within and outside, pretending to be my friend and causing problems in my life in the name of Jesus. You say, Father, please expose and disgrace every enemy within and every enemy outside pretending to be my friend rather causing me problems in the mighty name of jesus expose them and disgrace them in all our lives in the mighty name of jesus thank you my father in jesus mighty name we have prayed you say father according to psalm 59 and verse 1 according to psalm 59 verse 1 from today please arise and defend me from my foes and cause me to triumph over all their wicked plans in the mighty name of Jesus. People that we gather together, we're doing business with them. They are our neighbors. They're even our relatives, but they are our enemies. We are praying this morning that God will cause you to triumph over their wicked plans in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 51, Psalm 59 verse 1, Father, from today, arise and defend me from all my foes and cause me to triumph over all their wicked plans in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be for you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You say, my father, my father, please arise for me and turn every arrow of my life around so that I may receive peace in the name of Jesus. You say, my father, my father, please arise for me and turn 
every error of my life around so that I will receive peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be so for us all, all errors of our lives, the things that we did in error, the mistakes that we made, that the enemy is capitalizing on. Father, turn it around and let us receive our peace in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You say, Father, the wisdom I need to be separated from troublemakers, let it be released upon me right now in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, the wisdom that I need to be separated from troublemakers, please let it be released upon me right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Abraham had wise counsel and he made the right move, amen, to have to move to have peace with Lot. He is the one who initiated it. He is the one who would have said, okay, let me make the first choice. After all, he was the head, but he had wise counsel. So you are praying this morning, you are asking that, Father, give me the wisdom I need to be separated from every troublemaker, troublers of my destiny, of my family, in the mighty name of Jesus. Release that wisdom upon me afresh, even this morning, in the name of Jesus. So shall it be for us all. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You say, Father, you that knows the end right from the beginning, please direct my decisions and my choices that my destiny shall be glorious in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, you that knows the end right from the beginning, please direct my decisions and my choices that my destiny shall be glorious in the mighty name of Jesus. Many people are like lots, jumping and grabbing what appears beautiful, what appears to be pleasant, but at the end, there might just be destruction. So we're praying and we're saying, Father, you know the end from the beginning. Please direct my decisions, direct my choices, that my destiny will be glorious in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Say, Father, in the journey of my life, Father, in the journey of my life, please disconnect me from all friends, associates, partners, and relatives that are greedy, self-centered, and troublemakers in the name of Jesus. I want you to make this a very silent prayer for yourself this morning. You say, Father, in the journey of my life, please disconnect me from all friends, associates, partners, and relatives that are greedy, self-centered, and are troublemakers in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be a separation in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Finally, you pray and say, Father, please empower me so that my light will shine brighter and brighter in the name of Jesus. Abraham's light shone brighter and brighter after he had made a choice. From there onwards, his light began to shine. You say, Father, please empower me so that my light will shine brighter and brighter in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your awesome presence in our midst today. Thank you for hearing and answering our prayers today. Please arise for us all and silence every troublemakers in our lives in the name of Jesus. All those who have planned to cause a setback in our lives, in our families, concerning our careers, in our businesses, in our education, and even in our marriage. Father, arise, expose, disgrace, and put them to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us, O oh Lord, to be alert in our spirit, man, and make the right choices in accordance to your will in all that we do in the name of Jesus Christ. This week, my Father, my God, please protect us, direct us, direct our paths, and help us to be victorious in all our endeavors in the mighty name of Jesus. Let this week be a week of rejoicing for us all in the name of Jesus, and let the glory be unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' most precious, mighty, and excellent name we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you all. Have a glorious Sunday. 
and a victorious week ahead. Shalom.